Morning, YouTubers. It's Gabe, and I want to talk to you this morning about mental health and uh, exercise. That's my sidekick, Aki. Say hi, Aki. <laughs> Love you. Um, some of you know me. Some of you don't. If this is your first time tuning in, I am a disabled uh, veteran, 100% disabled, uh, former uh, Navy, and I... Um, like to get on here and just kind of share my struggles because too many of my friends have killed themselves um and uh most of the time they do it because of their loss um or they're just scared to admit that they have issues and they have nowhere to turn um so i can go on about all that but i really want to focus on the mental health aspects and exercise um you know where can you start you can get a service dog um, my buddy Danny gave me, uh, Aki, she's a black Belgian Mullen wall. Uh, she has been trained, um, and she, uh, alerts uh, on me every time I'm emotional, um, or start to have an episode, um, you know, uh, because of my, uh, non-combat related PTSD, um, I have some, some, um, other issues too. Um, that at first what I did was go to the VA hospital and take all the meds that they wanted to pump in my ass. Um, where that led me is I now am stage four kidney failure, um, because I was also an alcoholic and drank and no one told me not to mix the two. So guess what? Kidneys are fucked up. Um, so, uh, I also want to keep it real on here. I'm going to cuss. I'm going to be me. Um, I'm a newfound Christian. So uh, if you're a hater because I say stuff like fucked up and stuff like that, don't know what to tell you. Uh, follow your own God the way that you want to, but I'm going to follow mine the way I want to. And I don't think God's going to send me to hell because I say fucked up or fucked or any other word. Um, so I'm going to keep it real uh, because the main reason I'm having this conversation with you right now is because I lost my personality. I've lost um, relationships. I have lost myself. And all in the search of mental health. Uh, because when you're in uh, a mental health situation, you sometimes you don't know how messed up you are. Sometimes you don't know why. You don't know where you are and where, you know, um, why your mind races. I've had panic attacks, anxiety attacks. I've been uh, crippled with uh, stress, depression, suicide, uh, all thoughts, um, you name it. And I thought all that would go away when I started working out uh, and eat and, and, well, when I started to make the decision to stop drinking. Well, I've been sober for two years, and guess what? She had got worse. Yep. This thing called pause. If they don't know about it, look it up. You decide to stop drinking, you will go through pause. Basically, it makes you act like an asshole, even though you don't want to, and you... Um, don't mean to. You get irritable for no reason, angry for no reason. Um, pretty much just kind of can be a jerk for no reason. Um, it takes about two years for alcohol to completely get out of your brain um, and let your uh, brain chemistry get back to normal. So um, I got cooped up on med or cooped up. I got cooped up in the house and stuck on medication. Um, and I became an emotional zombie. I mean, I didn't feel anything. And so I wanted to get off. So I did. Well, when I did, of course, all my stuff come flooding back. I couldn't get out of the house. I couldn't do anything. And, uh, my wife said, Hey, you know, go do something new. And so, um, I thought about that. Well, um, it took me a little while, you know, I went and did ketamine shots, um, uh, doctor ordered ketamine shots. That was great. That helped me find God. Uh, I am a new Christian. Um, but it still didn't bring back my personality. It still didn't solve all the other stuff that was going on, being tired and everything else. Helped me be not such of an ass, but guess what? I still irritable, still lost myself. So uh, then I tried pot. Love it. I mean, PTSD went away. But uh, I started getting fat because I got the munchies. No matter what strain it was, no matter what kind it was, I ate. So got up to 268 pounds because where do I put my wife and them through me being an asshole or do I just eat? I ate, smoked. So 
um, you know, there's the negative side effect of that. That's not for everybody. For me, it was. Then I tried microdosing mushrooms. I highly recommend that if you have issues that you try that. That made me happy. That made me feel better. And I think that may have started the fact that my brain started changing, so I needed to work out. So, um, lo and behold, I looked at my wife and I said, I'm going to listen to your advice and I'm going to do something different. And I said, but what am I going to do? I'm hurt. I mean, I, my foot's broke. My knee's broke. I, I mean, I'm falling apart. 48 years old and I'm falling apart. She said, you can swim. So I jumped into a pool full of a bunch of old men and old women and did water aerobics. And uh, then the next thing I know, I started enjoying it. And the next thing I know, I started seeing some muscle tone. Um, and I really enjoyed it so much the fact that I wanted to try to work out. So I added the weights back into my routine. Um, and lo and behold, I started dropping weight. Um, I started feeling better. And then my wife made me wear my CPAP mask. Now, um, I'm going to tell you, I developed a phobia of dying. I developed a phobia of having that thing on my face. But when I wear that mask, I feel like a superhero. Um, I feel better. I feel me. Um, I have not taken a nap during the day in almost uh, three months. Uh, I get up every morning. This morning I was at the gym at 4.30. Um it's made a big difference. And so what I'm going to tell you is that adding fitness to your daily life will help you. It helps with the positive endorphins. Um, it, you know, you start feeling better. Uh, you get better cardiovascular uh, uh, gains. You start getting muscle gains. You start looking better. You start feeling better. And then you kind of get a little pep in your step. And, um, you know, I'm not a trainer. I used to be a trainer. I'm not a doctor. You know, I'm just giving you advice from the heart, and you can take it or leave it. But I'll tell you, once you find one excuse to work out, it makes all the difference in the world. Um, you know, I, I've i made every single excuse. I was a former athlete. You know, when I got out of the Navy, I was 155 pounds, ripped. Um, you know, I was a lifeguard, uh, taught lifeguard, taught swimming, and I don't really have an excuse to be fat. Uh, I'm fucking lazy. And um, mental health will make you lazy. Um, all the other shit that they prescribe to you will make you lazy. You'll lose your sex drive. You'll, I mean, you'll go through the gauntlet. Um, but as I said here this morning, wanting to give you this little video, I'm a changed person because, I think, of the exercise. Um, I'm not on any type of medication anymore. The only thing I take is blood pressure. Hopefully, I'll get off that soon. Uh, as of today, I've lost 26 pounds. Um, that's in 90 days, folks. 26 pounds. I don't know how many inches um, I've lost off my waist. I can see my pecker again. That was my original goal is I wanted to see my pecker. Now I can see my pecker. I can tie my shoes. Um, you know, I can fucking wash my back. Um, you know, <laughs> I used to have to lean up against the fucking wall to wipe my ass. How about that? That's a cool feeling, guys. And uh, I'm keeping it real because... So many people sugarcoat things, and, and, and that's just not for me. Um, tough love has always been something that I've been accustomed to, and um, I'm tired of you fuckers killing yourselves. So you need to look in the mirror and realize what role do you play in your mental health? What role do you play in your fitness? What role do you play in all of it? Sometimes it takes somebody pointing it out. Um, lucky enough, I've um, had the benefit of a wife that would point it out for me, and uh, I appreciate that, but... You know, um, you know, I was going to have that, as I've also found. And, you know, so in the end, it's just you. It's you. And the hardest obstacle in life is your own brain. It's getting out of sight of your own brain. It's getting out of sight of your, I can't do this. I don't know how to do this. I'm unable to move forward. You know, I um, mean, against the world um, mentality that you can't, you can't have anymore because you keep making excuses. And as, as veterans, you know, I know there's other people that need help, so I'm trying to help you too. But as veterans and as men, we're taught, you know, that, that you know, we're like super human, right? We're not supposed to have emotion. We're not supposed to cry. We're not supposed to show emotion. We're not we're supposed to have this big, tough exterior. I mean, I got this beard and I actually have earrings and I'm buff and I've got this 
fucking tough exterior. And man, I'm a little baby on the inside. Um, I, I really am. I wear my heart inside beyond barriers because I've been hurt. And the hardest thing for me in all this is to have been able to look at myself and say, I need help. Um, that's how I got sober. Um, that's how I got fit, uh, to pour out my heart to somebody, uh, to become vulnerable. Uh, I'm now sitting here vulnerable. I haven't been vulnerable since I was seven years old. It's a feeling I've never felt, um, to let go and let God have faith. Uh, I was an atheist prior to all this, uh, 47 years of being an atheist. Um, you know, turning my back on everybody but me. And I got lost inside my own head. And so I'm sitting here telling you that if my 48-year-old stubborn ass can do this, so can you. Uh, don't listen to the VA. Uh, they will fuck you. Um, and, I mean, I'm, I'm being fucked right now. Uh, so uh, be careful with them. But just know that you've got to reach out to somebody. Um, friend, family member, wife, somebody, and just say, hey, I need your help being okay. I need your help because I can't do this. Um, you know, the one thing that we learned in the military was what? You know, run towards danger, don't run away. You know, um, uh, you know, our, our, our muscle memory and our, our training takes us into a situation and we rely on it, right? Well, you kind of got to go back to a little bit about that too. You kind of got to go back to that mentality of, all right, I'm going to push forward. But you still have people around you. You still have shipmates and teammates, and you still have, um, they might not be soldiers. You know, you might not be at war with an enemy, but you're at war with an enemy within. And if you can just wrap your head around that and realize that the people around you, your family, your friends, and everyone else, that's, that's your platoon, that's your squadron, you know. That's, you know, who you're assigned to. That's the people that have your back now, okay? Uh, or reach out to one of your federal veterans or reach out to somebody that you serve with. But the fact of the matter is there's no reason to kill yourself. There's no reason to take your life. There's no reason to get down and feel sorry and get in that. There's no, and there's nothing happy at the bottom of a bottle. So just a quick video. I've been at the gym this morning. Didn't want to get up. Got up at 4.30. Couldn't sleep went to the gym, um, because there's no negative from the gym. Um, and I guarantee you, the more that you become fit, the more you become mentally strong, the less reluctant you're going to be to want to continue to be that person inside your own head. Step outside your own head, admit that you need help, find somebody to help you, and love yourself. That's the hardest part. Love yourself. Guys, love you. Stay strong.